Today, attorneys for Ghislaine Maxwell will argue the longtime friend of Jeffrey Epstein deserves to await trial from home. As new details emerge about her arrest at a million dollar New Hampshire property nearly two weeks ago. When the FBI announced themselves, new court documents say they saw Maxwell run to another room, quickly shutting the door. After federal agents broke in, they found her cell phone wrapped in tinfoil in what prosecutors describe as a seemingly misguided effort to evade detection by law enforcement. Court documents say agents also found a private security guard on the property, a former member of the British military hired by Maxwell's brother, who told federal agents that Maxwell had not left the property during his time working there. Nothing in that filing today suggests that uh, she is going to be easy to track down uh, if by chance she weren't to show up in court. Prosecutors are urging the judge to reject requests from Maxwell's attorneys to release her on $5 million bail and be on house arrest. They say Jeffrey Epstein's longtime confidant poses a clear risk of flight because of glaring red flags, like her considerable wealth, citizenship of France, which does not extradite its citizens to the United States, and the fact that she appears to be skilled at living in hiding. Maxwell, who was charged with enticing minors to travel to engage in illegal sex acts, controls a Swiss bank trust worth more than $4 million and has accounts with an English bank totaling more than $2 million, according to court documents. To the extent Maxwell refuses to account for her ownership of or access to vast wealth, it is not because it does not exist, prosecutors say. It is because she is attempting to hide it. Maxwell is currently in a federal jail in Brooklyn. Our NBC News has learned prison staff are extensively monitoring her and making sure she's not in a position to harm herself like Epstein, who died by suicide last year in federal prison while awaiting sex trafficking charges. I think they truly want to keep her under the federal government's control so nothing happens to her. Prosecutors are also expected to argue that she not be released because of coronavirus. She hasn't claimed any underlying health conditions, and they will point out that the defendants who have claimed those kinds of underlying health conditions have had their requests for release rejected by judges. We've reached out to Maxwell's attorneys. They did not get back to us for comment.